What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Cryptography at Chimology. In this episode, we will introduce to you the ADFGVX cipher. So, how did the ADFGVX cipher even come about? Well, let's turn back time and go all the way back to 1918. The ADFGVX cipher was invented by Colonel Fritz Niebel in March 1918. It is an improvement to its predecessor, the ADFGX cipher, which worked in the same manner. The six letters ADFGVX were originally chosen with the intention to reduce the probability of operator error. This is because these six letters sound very different from one another when transmitted via Morse code. The ADFGVX cipher was a field cipher used by the German army during World War I. It was first used on the 5th of March 1918 during the German attack of Paris. The cipher is a fractionating transposition cipher, which combines a modified polybial square with a few single columnar transposition. The polybial square is a 6x6 square, and in the square, there are 36 boxes that are filled with the alphabet A to Z and the numbers 0 to 9. Oh wow, so how do we do the encryption and decryption? The topic involved in using this cipher will be coordinate geometry. This is a common template for the ADFGVX cipher. The cipher consists of six letters ADFGVX, as suggested from its name. The reason for using six letters is because the six letters on each axis allow 36 characters to be encrypted which includes 26 letters A to Z and 10 numbers 0 to 9. Like most ciphers, a key will be given. The key will help one solve the encrypted message. Let's take for example, the key given is classroom 374. Fill in the letters in the key in the template first. Skip every repeating letter and write the next. After the key has ended, Fill the remaining with letters, then numbers chronologically. Again, skip all repeating letters and numbers. This will look like the final template for the key, classroom 374. Let's take the vertical axis as X and the horizontal axis as Y. Hence, the encrypted message will be in the form of XY. For example, the encrypted message DF will represent the number 7. Now, let's take a look at an example. In this case, the message is encrypted and the key to this message is Chimology 124. Now, let's complete the polybial square. Now that it's done, let's decrypt the message. The encrypted AG will mean that the letter that we are supposed to find is in row A, column G. By comparing it to the template, we can conclude that the letter in row A, column G is M. Hence, the first letter of the message is letter M. Next, FF will represent row F and column F. The letter that we are supposed to find is then the letter E. Since the next encrypted letter is also FF, the next letter is also E. Using this method, continue to decrypt the rest of the message. The completed decrypted message will be Meet me tonight at 7 pm. So now, let's take a look at a second example. Here we go. This is the second encrypted message, and the key now is James. 07. Now, time to decrypt the message. Firstly, ZV means that the letter that we are supposed to find is in row D, column V. Therefore, the letter that we are supposed to find is the letter F. Next, AD represents the row A and column D. Hence, the next letter is A. Using this method, continue to decrypt the rest of the message. The completed decrypted message 
will be falling for you.